all of all YouTubes. I don't know if this is uh, if this is on or if I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Keeps turning itself off. I'll have to get that new camera sorted. Hope you're well. It's May the 9th today, and it's uh, my eldest son, Rigger Junior's 25th birthday. So happy birthday, little Rig! Um, all the best to you, and he's, he's just announced that uh, him and his girlfriend are expecting a little boy. So, oh, that's brilliant. Great done. Congratulations to Motty and to Charles. Um, I'm over the moon. I'm, I'm going to be a grandpa at last. I made it to 50, so I suppose I'm old enough now. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've made up with that. Today, I'm... Uh, I'm just going somewhere a bit different today. I'm no longer in work. I walked out last week. Um, couldn't stop being illegal and breaking so many laws anymore that, that companies seem to expect you to break do these days. Uh, so I've, I've done away with that. And, and, uh, I'm between jobs, as they say at the moment, so I'm enjoying the sunshine. And I'm heading to somewhere I've never been before. This is uh, Seaways Cap. Friday Thorpe, I think it is. Um, and I've never done this route before, and it, it's fantastic. I know you probably won't see much apart from edges and sand around, <laughs> uh, but there are some magnificent views up here. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of these custard fields, and they're, uh, they're killing me. Excuse me a minute. <coughs> So uh, yeah, they're, uh, they are killing me. If you want to know the history of these custard fields, check out a guy called uh, Supper Candy and about Lord Custard, Custard. Um, he'll he'll, uh, he'll, uh, he'll tell you all about these custard fields. They do look pretty, but they do kill me. Never had hay fever till we start growing all this stuff around us. Now every time the sun shines and I walk out at door, it's like I've, I've got mum flu. I don't know if they sound as bumped up as this. Well, there are some uh, some fantastic roads around here. Just got to keep looking down at me at me sat nav. So bear with me. Bear with. I bear with. I bear with. So I hope you're all well. I hope you're all diddling well. Uh, I know I haven't put the Whitby vlog up yet. I will do. Um, there are reasons behind that. We came back from Whitby. Uh, we'd been in the house, ooh, I don't know, about maybe 50 minutes. Uh, Mrs. Rigger says I'm going to go and put bath on because I'm cold. And I said, cracking idea, babe. Um, she went upstairs and the next thing I knew, she was shouting, Rig, the ton of in your shed. Um, and two little local scrubs were uh, ripped the back fence down, uh, ripped the, or smashed part of the side of the shed down, and had come to the front, obviously to try and get all thunder here, because they're, they're renowned for it, the little scummy bastards. Um, so I did go flying out, I knew who they were, so I didn't bother chasing them. I knew who they were, um, and I caught up with them later, um, and had a chat. <laughs> Take that as you want, but I had a chat. Um, um, I, I don't think they'll be coming back to my house, I, I think they know what's what now. Where am I? Just have to lift my visor up a minute, a mile before I turn. But, uh, yeah, it... Uh, I was, I was extremely mad when I first realised that they were trying to break in my shed, but um, I did calm down a little bit by the time I saw them. It is lovely out here today. And we had some scorching weather last weekend when we were in Whitby. It was freezing, really, really cold. Just put me over. But, uh, really, it was really, really cold. Uh, the, the, the Friday was when we got there, it was raining, it was cold, um, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't very 
conduitive to walking around and looking at things. But we did we did go up to the Abbey, uh, which has changed a lot. Last time I went up there, it was all free. You walk straight up and into it. Now you have to pay a fortune to get in. Um, and, and nobody were there, and I can understand why when it was £7.50 each to get in. That's each, not for all three of us, that was £7.50 each. Um, and there, there isn't much there. there there's there's the, the ruins, I know they've got to upkeep the visitor centre and visitors centre and stuff like that now, but it, uh, it, it's a shame because when it was free, it, it was packed up there, especially on a goth weekend. Blimey neck, that's where everybody would have ended up on a goth weekend. Um, but yeah, now they, uh, they started paying. Unfortunately, there was... Uh, well, you'll see when I finally get it up. There, there, there wasn't much there at all. Oh, was that e -taze or was that water that's on the road? It was e -taze. Good state of this road. Oh my, oh my. <coughs> I suppose they've got to do them sooner or later. Oh, I'm still in the third till a bit naughty, naughty. Oh, look at that, it's wrong. Bush. that far away, you probably can't hear much of it, but no, he's a bike and everything else. Well, you can, I, I hope this drift's actually picking some of these, some of these views up. I know our cities are, are ram full and overflowing and I'm moaning about new houses being built near me and making my village into a town and from what I remember but there is plenty of space I don't know why they don't build a few new cities and make them nice so here we are at Friday though so we should be got a pinlock on my visor and it's awful I can't see me, me sat and have a hole. Because it's sunshine. Turn left. She must be telling me to turn left here, is she? Is it here? Do you know I hate sat navs? She's bugged up. done. It's not bad if you've never been here, try and get here. It's a nice little cafe. Some stunning bikes here as well. Really nice. So I'm on my way to Brid now, so I'll catch you in a bit. I'm 
beats of red lenses. Now I need some fuel. Uh, I'm near my road now. And I'm not seeing a petrol station. Anyway. There must be one somewhere. Anyway, it looks like we're still a bit out from uh, from the town centre. So, uh, I'll catch you again in a minute. There's a Morrison's there. I might be able to get some of their cheap, crappy fuel. There we go. Typical of council nowadays, they've got all the roads closed off. But if you look that way, there's the sea. This is the arbor bit round here. So I think we'll we'll head this way. I think I can actually drive round here, ride round here. Maybe can't. Maybe drop to Goldley. Used to be able to ride down them bits. Bridlington Harbour and straight in front of you Bridlington Beach oh that said restricted I don't know I've just come through it oh little thing about Bridlington Spa this one in front of me it's where I first ever saw status quo uh, 1984 I came here to see status quo and Andy Bound, who was the organist for Status Quo, I was stood with his cousin. Who, uh, who actually asked me to go back and have a, a bit of a party with him, with Quo. And I, and I, I didn't like a twit, because I had a bus to catch to get back. If it had been nowadays, I'd have said, sod the bus, I'll get back somehow. Yeah. Andy Bound's cousin. actually looks real <laughs> teeth again come on speak English man the beach actually looks really nice um, which is which is nice because at, at some points the beach looked absolutely awful god the roads are I know that much I don't know how much of the beach and things you can see because I'm having to keep keep my eyes about me yeah, it looks really nice. In fact, let's pull in. Not going to wait, no, pulling up here, is it? Pull in for two minutes. Shut up. And there's Brid. I'll keep trying because it keeps turning itself off, this thing. I don't know what's wrong with it. The old, uh, the old thunder was going to get changed until, uh, like I said early in the vlog, I keep trying. Thunder was going to get changed, um, but as I said earlier on in the vlog, I, I left my job. So unfortunately, poor old lass is is, uh, is still with me, but she's got a 12 months MOT on it, so she'll be good for me. Right, this camera can do what it wants now because I'm going for a bag of chips. I'll catch you later. Ride safe, keep it sunny side up. Whoa! 
Well, thanks for the cheap bossy wood. And I might see you again soon sometime.